So in order to carry out DNA replication, the first step that needs to occur is the primase needs to lay down an RNA primer. The RNA primer, which is labeled in black, is a 10 to 20 nucleotide length strand, which serves as a recognition site and an initiation site for DNA replication. This allows DNA polymerase 3 to come in, recognize the primer that has been put down by the primase, and start replicating. As you can see, the DNA polymerase 3 does its work as these red nucleotides that are laid down. These red nucleotides will continue as the replication fork opens in both directions. And the reason why it's actually ever started in the first place, as I said earlier, is that the RNA primer was put down and it served as an initiation site and as a recognition site for DNA polymerase 3 to come in. So DNA polymerase 3 will put down the nucleotides that are complementary to the original strand in order to create the replicated strand, which is the ultimate goal of DNA replication. Now, once the DNA polymerase 3 has done its job, there is sometimes errors that occur in DNA replication. The first mechanism that deploys uh, a DNA replication repair is nuclease. Now, nuclease not, doesn't only just prep or do uh, DNA repair mechanisms. It actually will remove these RNA primers, which are labeled in black. So that's one function of the DNA or the, the nuclease enzyme. So it will remove the RNA primers, fill in any gaps, and it will also serve as a proofreading and DNA repair mechanism enzyme. So nuclease is one of the DNA repair mechanisms and also removes the RNA primer, but also DNA polymerase one will come through and there should, there, as the DNA is replicated and the replicated strand is made longer, you will see more nucleotides going this way and the same thing going this way. Both of these enzymes will come in and simply proofread all the nucleotides, make sure that they are correctly matched up with the ba or base paired correctly with the nucleotides of the original strand in order to ensure that there is no mutations that are being made while DNA is replicated. So these two, steps three and four, are really just proofreading mechanisms. And then on top of that, nuclease will remove the RNA primers. Now the last step is ligase. Ligase is going to tie all the nucleotide base or the nucleotides together. So on the lagging strand, there will be what we call as Okazaki fragments. These little short strands are the short strands of DNA nucleotides that the DNA polymerase 3 put down that aren't tied together yet. Ligase is going to come in and tie in especially those Okazaki fragments to make a clean replicated strand of DNA. Ligase is just going to go over, make sure that everything is tied together on both strands, tie the Okazaki fragments to the leading side strand and just tie everything together, make sure it looks clean.